Hey again, it's Miss Alvarado. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to go over Wednesday's Give Me Five for page number six, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first problem is they want us to multiply 15 times 62. 15 times 62. So put the, no the biggest number on top, make sure you're lining them up by place value, and let's go ahead and get started using the turtle method. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my turtle. Okay, and we're gonna start in the ones place. We're gonna multiply this five times the two and the six. Okay, so five times two equals 10. So I'm gonna drop my zero. Drop my zero and carry the one over to the next place value. Five times six equals 30 plus one equals 31. And you're gonna write that down there, 31, 31. Okay, then we decided to make that turtle our pet. So we're gonna put a collar on it. And when we put a collar on it, we're crossing out that five. We're done with it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, and then we checked on it a couple of days later and it laid an egg named zero. So make sure you drop down that zero. That's very, 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 very important. You have to do it or else you're gonna get it wrong. Okay, and then now we're gonna multiply that one times the two and the six. So one times two equals two. One times six, and this is an old one so I can cross that out. One times six equals six. And then we're gonna add those two partial products, starting in the lowest place value. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus two equals three. And six plus three equals nine. The product of 62 times 15 equals 930. 930. Wonderful. The next column, they want us to round to the underlying place value. Well, boys and girls, what place value they have? What place value they have this nine underlined? What place value is that? Let's figure it out together. Let's start off in the ones place. Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand. 10,000. So what place value is this nine in? That's right, the hundreds place value. So they wanna know, will 39,950 round down to 39,900? Or is it going to round up to 40,000? Now it's 40,000 because this number underlined is a nine. So if we round up to the nearest hundred, it's going to make a new thousand, and that's why it's 40,000. Well, let's follow our rounding rules, okay? You underline the place value they want you to round to, and then you circle the number to the right. That number that you circle is going to let you know if you're gonna round down or if you're gonna round up. So is that number that we circled five or more raise the score? or is it four or less, let it rest? The five is five or more, raise the score. So your answer is 40,000. Awesome sauce. All right, so here are the answers for that first one, 930, and here's the answer to the second one, 40,000. Let's go over to the next column. And this column is labeled decimals and fractions. And they want to know, boys and girls, what is the equivalent fraction to this decimal? Let's read this number together. 18 hundredths. 18 hundredths. Okay? So how would I write 18 hundredths as a fraction. Well, that's easy, boys and girls. We're just gonna write this fraction exactly how it sounds. So, 
18 hundredths, just like that. Okay, when the decimal sounds the same and the fraction sounds the same when you read it, they're equivalent. The next fraction they have involves a whole number. I think I just gave y'all a hint. So let's read this fraction together. I'm sorry, decimal. They want to know what is the equivalent fraction to this decimal. Well, let's read this decimal together. 5 and 5 tenths. Okay. Notice, and I don't know, I'm going to make it a point right now, but I've always been saying it. When you see that decimal, it's not point, it's not decimal, it's and. Okay, so five and five tenths because it's in the tenths place. So we're going to write this exactly how it sounds. Five, okay, five because it's in the whole number that's in the ones place. Five and five tenths. Five and five tenths. Now, we can simplify this fraction 5 tenths. Who knows how we're going to simplify 5 tenths? What's the equivalent fraction to 5 tenths? That's right. 5 tenths can also be written, or this decimal can also be written as 5 and 1 half. Because what's half of 5? I'm, I'm sorry, what's half of 10? 5. So 5 tenths is equivalent to 1 half. So I will take both of these answers on the Google form. All you need to do is type in 5 space and then you can write 5-10 or 5-2. Either one, Google Forms will accept uh, both responses. Wonderful. All right. The next column is the solve and label with the strip diagram. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and label uh, the parts that you do have. And you can put a question mark or a, va a variable for what we're going to solve for because remember, a variable represents the unknown and what we're going to solve for. So I have 340 as my whole. And 73 and 5 hundredths is a part, and I am missing the other part. So this is what I'm, oh, Wednesday, right here. Okay, so when I have my whole, I need to subtract to find my missing part. Remember, the bigger number always goes on top. So I'm going to do 340 minus... 73 and 500 and I'm going to show you what it looks like make sure you line up your numbers by place value so when you line up your numbers by place value this is what it's going to look like okay and you have the hundreds hundreds place tenths place ones tens hundreds okay now I'm going to need some placeholder zeros right here, okay, because these numbers need something to subtract from. And let's go ahead and get started. We always start off in the, the smallest, the lowest place value, and for this problem, it's the hundredths place. So let's get started. Zero minus five, I know I can't do that, so I have to go to my next door neighbor and borrow. They don't have any either, so I have to go to my other next door neighbor and borrow. They ain't got none either, so we're gonna have to go to our next door neighbor and borrow. The four has some. So the four is gonna give his neighbor one, make that a 10, and this will become a three, okay? Okay, but these zeros, these two zeros still need some. So this 10 is gonna give one to his next door neighbor. Okay, so that becomes a nine. This becomes a 10. He's gonna give us one to his next door neighbor. And these are the numbers that you should have on top. 10, 9, 9, 3. Okay, now we can start subtracting. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 9 minus 0 is 
is 9. Drop your decimal straight down. 9 minus 3 equals 6. Now, 3 minus 7, can I do that? No, so I need to go to the, my next door neighbor and borrow. This 3 is going to give us 1, so that makes it a 2, and that makes that 3 a 13. 13 minus 7 is 6, and 2 minus nothing is 2. Your final answer for the strip diagram, solve and label, is 266 and 95 hundredths. Wonderful. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and knock out the multiplication problems and you will have Wednesday complete. So we're on, we're right here. Four times eight? Four times eight equals 32. Four times eight equals 32. Eight times seven equals 56. Seven times seven equals 49. Make sure you input these answers exactly how we solved them today. If your answer involves a comma or a dash or a decimal, be sure to type that in your final answer. Um, and that is it. I hope you all have a wonderful, well, today's Tuesday, but I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday for the Wednesday Gimme 5, and I will see you next time.